Man, what's good, man? We got AG Barley here. What's up man, with you, bro? Big game, man. You know what I mean? All that shit, man. How you doing, bro? I'm chilling, man. How you been today? Shit, cool, man. You see what we doing. <laughs> you see what we doing. We smoking like we in Vegas. You know? <laughs> moves, this, this is an everyday activity for y'all. Yeah, real day, man. I don't even go to sleep. Hey. Good gas. What, what's y'all favorite strand? Like, what, what y'all like smoking? Oh, I, I, like straight O, man. Straight OG. Straight OG. Straight hey. OG, no bullshit. That good, that good Maryland OG or DC OG, man. For sure, yeah, man. So where you from? Man, I'm from Bladesburg, 57 Mattapone. Right there behind Blade High School. All right. Uh, so that's in Maryland, right? Yeah. All right. So, you know, what was it like growing up around there? I seen a lot of shit. I seen a lot of shit. That shit just pushed me. Made me hey. go hard on whatever I'm going to do. Hey. Uh-huh. So, you know, what what type of shit was you going through, like? Shit, with the family, neighborhood, yeah. environment, all that going on. Yeah. So that shit just really just fucked me up a little bit. Yeah. So what do you, like, was music a way to, you know, escape all that shit going on? Yeah, it was a way to, like, for me to express my express myself. Yeah. Tell motherfuckers how I felt, you feel me? Yeah. Just get my point across. Yeah. So when you start, when you start uh, making music, or start rapping in general? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I had some old ass Facebook videos, I was young as shit, Baldini and all that, <laughs> but now though, uh, I started going hard in it like probably like two, three years ago. Two, three years ago? And how old are you right now? I'm 19. Oh, so yeah, you started what, like 16, yeah. about 16? Uh-huh, hey. around eight. So was you taking it serious when you started, or was it, you know, just something you were just playing around with? Man, me and my man right here on everything, we used to just book wild ass sessions, like, 10 hours sessions just to go in there and make bullshit. We started off <laughs> just paying that bag just to go dropping shit. Dropping yeah. shit, just dropping shit. We were just like, man, we're gonna make a way out of this shit. Yeah. We just kept dropping music, dropping music. We're like, let's take this shit serious. Yeah. This shit was sounding sweet, bro. All right. Bullshit. So when, when y'all, um, when you drop your first project, when y'all drop like a project together, you drop a solo tape, like, how that work? Uh, we dropped Blood Brothers. Yeah. That shit went, that shit was going, that shit was going numbs a little bit, you know what I mean? And then that's when we knew, just about to collab, stick together, drag it up, just yeah. start doing that shit for real, for real. Yeah. That shit was at Turk, Turk Studio. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was so, the first music little jank. That, that joint on Spin Rilla, or Apple Music, all that yeah, shit? Yeah, Spin Rilla. Spin Rilla. Uh-huh. All right, bet, make sure y'all go get that joint, man. I don't know bullshit, though. Hey, so what, you know, what came next after that? After that, Blood Brothers. I was like, man, I'm gonna take this a little serious, took it up a notch. Yeah. Made a couple of singles. It was doing good. Then I finally put a mixtape together. Uh huh. That mixtape with the numbers, like, it's called, uh, what was that mixtape called? See, I'm so proud, I don't even remember. <laughs> my fucking first mixtape right there, that shit was called my fucking, uh, damn, BGS. BGS and shit, it was called BGS and shit, but, uh. What BGS stand for? Kind of bleed gang shit, but you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of shit went on with that shit. I'm, I'm AG for L though, you know what I mean? Yeah. That shit was BGS, but I'm, I'm on my other shit now, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was the first tape, but I ain't really push it, because shit went on, so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. You say you AG now, what AG stand for? Av gang. Av gang, that's, that's like your crew, label, all that? Around my way, that's my yeah, that's yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AG, right, right. Av gang. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what, would you ever like, you know, try to make that, like turn it into a label, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna turn into a label. Yeah. Big BBS change. Yeah, <laughs> hey, by the way, though, this all fun on this. This all fun on this. <laughs> Who wrote it, man? You got exposed. No, 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 no. Oh. no. It's all fun on this, you know? Oh, I thought that, that's a good thing. <laughs> and I never hit a phone just. <laughs> yeah, but what, what you working on right now? Uh, I just uh finished up on this project. It's called Life of AG Body. It just. You know what I, mean? I named that shit that they gonna understand me on this one. This tape that's about to drop, yeah. y'all gonna understand me on this one, my mother. Yeah. If this shit don't blow, do numbers, quit and rap, fuck rap, <laughs> my mother. Well, so wait, I, I, um, so that's gonna be like a full mixtape, but EP, like how you make some mixtape? Mix all right. Two songs, dog in the head. Yeah. You gonna have any features on there? Or you just going all time, all by yourself? Yeah, I got uh, old man on that. All right. I got uh. Oh yeah, me and Scarfo got some shit on the way. Hey. Shout out Scarfo the plug, you hear me? Uh, who else on the feature? I got uh, Lola, Lola on there. Okay. 
And yeah, that's it. Wrestling man Shane. Uh, and you and Lil Lo, Lil Lo related, right? That's my boy. That's my dog, uh, little brother. Uh, shout out him, man. You y'all got music together already or this is gonna be mm-hmm. the first song? Alright. Yeah, we got song Two Sticks. Two Sticks? Mm-hmm. Alright. When you when um when that come out? Uh dropped that probably like two months ago. Two months ago? Uh-huh. Straight YouTube with it. Uh, uh, that shit on Spring Rhythm. Spring Rhythm? Yeah. All right, but you got anything on like Apple Music or Spotify and the other shit? Yeah, I got a couple songs on Apple Music. Yeah. Well, you know, you didn't know the album. You got to drop all cranking and you got to yeah. make sure everything. Yeah, they won. They want to pay for that shit. Yeah. I want them to pay a million for a song. For yeah. all that. <laughs> shit. Straight up. So if you have the chance, would you stay independent or you try to get a deal? I ain't going to hold. I got to feed my family. Wherever that money, I'm going to go. But I ain't signing. I ain't signing right now. I ain't signing. I ain't talking about. No signing shit right now. Yeah. Just gonna keep doing yeah. me. Yeah, building your own. So brand. I can sign motherfucker, you know. Yeah, exactly. So you got like a manager or anything right now? Or you just doing anything on your own? Yeah, you know, my own, my dogs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fat Dave, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, that's my sign right there, you know what I mean? He pop out when it, you it necessary, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm on that back here, dude. He probably look, he probably looking at some beats right now. Yeah. Might turn to producer, huh? Straight up. Who are some of the people you came up listening to? Like, who kind of influenced you in this rap shit? I had you, man. Uh, when I started listening to this rap shit, I was listening to, like, motherfucking all oh, local rappers. I wasn't yeah. really in the industry music shit because I ain't know these niggas. Yeah, yeah. I was going to shit off local rappers like uh, Q, Trash Boy Loud, Manny Margiela. Uh, I was listening to everybody local, no savage. Yeah, yeah. Logis, you know what I'm saying? Logo rappers. rappers, yeah. The yeah, yeah, you know, I think the DMV, I think like we the next area to really blow up because we got a lot of people coming out here and everybody mm-hmm. really drinking. Oh, mm-hmm. Hey, like, we got some shit. We got niggas like you coming, so you definitely got to keep holding that shit down, man. You got to keep going, bro. Hey. So, shit, out of all your projects, like, which one did you enjoy making the most? Like, which one did you have the most fun with? Back in action. When I came home, hey. when I came home, I got smacking and stupid. Dropped the whole mixtape again. Yeah. Dropped them. Had the uh, first day off song in there. That shit yeah. did numbers. That shit did numbers. Yeah. Did numbers. That so shit, shit numbers. you said you said when you came home, you got locked up. How long was you locked up for? Yeah, I was locked. I did months. Uh, I did a couple of months, eight months. Yeah. Tomorrow, I kept going back and back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had little different little cases going on. Yeah. But yeah, when I came home, you know, the last time. Staying focused, locking up out of there. Crushed it. Yeah. So shit, was that, did that experience kind of, you know, motivate you to... Go harder with this rap shit. God, it did. Like just yeah. sitting, just sitting in that unit, just looking at the wall. It's like, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm exactly. To be out there. Yeah, crushing shit. So that shit just really had give me a chip on my shoulder. So yeah, God, come out exactly. there, get on my shit, get that money. Yeah, fuck all that other shit. Exactly, uh-huh. man. You gotta stay focused, stay ten toes down. Not for real. Yeah. So like, as far as your recording process, um, you write, you go off the dome. Like, how, how you doing all that? Man, I ain't gonna lie you, uh. I freestyle, I freestyle a lot of my shit cause it's straight off how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now I write is how I'm feeling too, but that shit y'all like switch up when I get in the studio. Yeah. I probably write like, I probably write like the first four lines, then the rest I freestyle everything. Yeah. Whatever that, street freestyle, whatever cover my head. What went on that day, what went on that week, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's y'all hear how I feel. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing you go to the studio a lot, like how often you in the studio? Three, four times a week. Yeah. Studio nigga can't even get no sleep. Bullshit. Call me Fabian, 3 a lot. All types. I was just about to ask you, like, what time you like going with, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, I really like them sessions at night. Yeah. Late night sessions. It's just dark. You could just, after a long day of trapping, hard yeah. day of working, yeah. coming in and tell them how you, you know? How you feeling? Yeah, yeah. No bullshit. All, all that in the afternoon yeah. shit. I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm active, I'm doing shit. Stuff, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So I can't exactly. really, like, you know? Yeah. Bullshit. Nah, I feel it, man. So, you know, anything else, like, as far as, like, music go, like, where you want to take it outside of music, or you got, or you just trying to, you know, keep it strictly music? Like, let's say if you were to become super successful, like, what else would you do outside of music? Yeah. Outside of music, man, I, you know, charity, I hope the charity get back to everybody yeah. that was dealing me from day one, yeah. you know what I mean? Make sure my family good first one. Just yeah. yeah. Just be on that. Yeah, Son, nah. you want me. Exactly. Looking up for another nigga. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's a fact. Yeah, I ain't had that shit. Nah, I feel you. A lot of people did it, so it's always good to a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, get back to the They make back. it. You don't know them no more. Yeah. You know I heard a lot of motherfuckers say, man, when I'm when I make it, you don't see me no 
You know, type of niggas <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. You fucked up, niggas. You can't be like, you ain't gonna last mm-hmm. too long being like that. Nah, it's selfish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, if I got it, my brother got it. My yeah. brother got it, I got it straight up. Hey, what are the principles you stand on? Cause you know that's something. Man, the code, man. That's the that's the that's the that's the biggest thing, man. The code. A lot of these niggas be had as shit. A lot of y'all rappers be had as shit. Like out here just capping, bluffing, man. It's the code, man. You just gotta be ten yeah. toes solid. Who you is? Twenty four seven. That's a fact, man. Can't be out here like six nine and shit. Perpetrator. Shorty is ridiculous, huh? Oh, yeah. Shorty is crazy, you know? He's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a foul nigga right there, man. Tell everybody go do X, Y, and Z for you, then turn around and tell on you. That's some whole shit. Yeah. I don't even watch that shit. That shit just fucked me up. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Anything else you want to tell them people? Bad. Got something coming for y'all, man. Me and bro got a big project coming up, too. Yeah. You see who I'm with? See my good fellas. You see? Hey. When, 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 bullshit. When, when you think that project coming? I go. Oh, you, uh, that shit probably come out probably like a week, so I can have everything locked in, hey. so everything straight, make sure all the sound, the song sounds straight. Hey. You know I mean? Drop that shit. Y'all gonna feel my pain on that one, babe. Oh. Alright, oh, that's a fact, man. But shit, man, I appreciate you pulling up on me, man. Alright, man. Long live Rambo. Long live greedy, long live all my guys, you know what I mean? Free all the real niggas out that system, no bullshit.